Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Step three for taking other people's phones. Can I borrow your phone for something? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> for this prank, you do not even need the phone unlocked. You just do it locked from the home screen. So what you need to do is you need to swipe down from the top and then press this button right here. And then go to alarms and then add an alarm for any time you want early in the morning. For example, 1.38 and the alarm would just go. And you can just press save, but I'm not going to. Can I borrow your iPhone? Yeah, sure. For this next prank, you want to go into shortcuts, press automation, press plus, rate personal, when an app is open, choose any app you want. I'm going to do a clock for this, add action, and then search open app. Press this option, and then choose any other app. I am going to do a magnifier here. Press next, plus done, ask before running, don't ask, open, and then the prank will now work just fine. I just can't open up clock anymore. We'll just go back to the magnifier every single time. Where are your iPhone? Sure. All right, for this prank, this is another shortcuts prank. So we're gonna open shortcut, go to automation, press the plus button, create personal. When my iPhone connects to power, is connected, add action, and then speak text. And then you'll wanna type anything. So anytime you, they plug in their iPhone, it will just speak the text on whatever you have put in. Hey, it's Willie Apple here. This video is pretty much almost two months in the making. This is my setup, and let's get to more pranks. All right, for this next prank, you want to open up settings, go down to general, keyboard, text replacement. So I'm going to change the word no to yes. So what you want to do is put phrase in yes, shortcut, we would just put no. And anytime I put the word no in, and press space, it will just put yes. This will really annoy them, so don't do this, please. However, it may be a little bit easier to grab a hold of their map. So, what you want to do is open up System Preferences, Keyboard, Text, and you can just do the same thing right here as you can see. No, yes, let's say I want to change the word Fortnite to Roblox. And then anytime I type the word Fortnite in here, it will just autocorrect to Roblox. That will really annoy them, so please still don't do this unless you want to lose friends, but don't lose friends. Something else to add to this, this will also synchronize between their iPhone, iPad, and Mac if they have multiple of them. Or if they just have one of each, it will synchronize to all of them. Let's say your friend is really intensive with their Mac like I am. This will really annoy them. We are going to throttle their performance. So this only works with Mac OS Monterey or newer. So what you want to do is open up system preferences, go to battery, battery, and low power mode. Same thing with power adapter, if you turn this on, turning both of these low power modes on will really throttle their performance and will annoy them a lot. Would it recommend doing this if you don't want to lose that one intensive friend? If they're just the average person that only uses their MacBook for school, this will not affect anything at all for now. But as things require more power, then it will eventually throttle it. So if you want to turn it on right now, they won't know how to turn it off probably if you would never meet them again in five years. But also they probably would just get a new Mac anyway. So probably wouldn't affect it if five years in the future if things required really high specifications. Let's say you want to go a little bit too extreme. So what you want to do is open up settings, go down to general, transfer or reset iPhone or iPad, reset, and you can reset home screen layout, all settings, location and privacy. But what will really annoy them a lot is home screen layout and settings. So those are all the pranks I can think of at the top of my head that are good enough that I can show you on video. Thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!